Peace, family. Peace. Peace, D. Peace, reflection. Thanks, 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 D's. Got to keep my crystals, man. Crystals protect your energy, man. They also help with you in terms of meditation. Certain crystals are meditation crystals. Certain crystals deal with um, manifestation. Certain crystals bring love into your life. Certain ones uh, protect your energy. But yeah, what I wanted to say was, man, I had a download come to me, though, man. And it was about the hospitals, okay? And so one thing I want you guys to understand or understand is that a lot of people are transitioning, man, and it's not due to um, the sicknesses that they have, okay? This is what I want you to understand, man, okay? And this might be a scary situation or a, a scary topic for a lot of you because when it's all said and done, a lot of us tend to run to the hospital when we get sick because even as children, that's, that's all we know. We believe that these doctors and this hospital is meant for our best, it's in our best interest. You understand what I'm saying? But... That couldn't be farther from the truth, man. I noticed this, man. A lot of, man, it's a lot of people that's actually dying at the hands of the people that's in the hospital, okay? And I'm just going, I'm going to get straight to it, man. Thank you, J uh, Jamie. Thank you. Uh, I'm just going to get straight to it, man. I'm just going to get straight to it, man. I feel like, man, and what I know is because of the download that I received is that, um, look, man, these these deaths that are happening when your family members are going to the hospital, man, it's not bad. It's not bad faith. Okay? This is what I want you to understand, man. A lot of people they go in there, they're walking into there, okay? They're walking into these hospitals, man, and, and a lot of people is walking into these hospitals, man, and they're not why is she steady calling? Somebody is calling me, y'all. They're interrupting my lab. I apologize for that. A lot of people are uh, dying by faith. Not bad. That's my wife. She's blowing me up, okay? But a lot of people is going into these hospitals, man, and they're not uh, dying by, by, by faith, okay? This is something that's strategically being done, okay? And it's a lot of people who, who don't understand. And I won't even say a guy's name, man, but it's, it's a, one, of my, one of my close friends, man, that I grew up with, man. He just got shot, and he was just doing so well, man. And I feel like this is what actually brought this on to me he was doing so well man he went to the hospital right and all of a sudden he just he died okay the next day he was doing well and i want you to understand man it's just like i told y'all man when you walk into these stores and the same way they're giving you the jab the same way they're giving you um the 19 you know what i'm saying because it's certain things that i can't say on here okay but i will tell y'all y'all know what i'm talking about the same way they release these chemicals into um, the stores when you walk into these stores, man, is the same way they're doing you guys in the hospitals, okay? And that's why I want a lot of you to understand that when you go into these hospitals, man, you need to be asking questions. Do not just allow them to stick you with this. Why I got y'all here, man, every, please like, man. Please like and share this video, man, to get this information out. Do not just allow them to stick you with needles, man. Okay, you need to know what they're sticking you with. You need to know the effects of what they're sticking you with because they'll stick you with something. Then when you become sleepy, they'll le release a gas that'll cause you to die and never wake up. Okay? And so what I want you to understand is that a lot of these people are not going into the hospital and just dying, okay? Or they'll go in with, with, um, with symptoms of... Which I told y'all comes from the chlorine gas that they're releasing comes from the... um. It comes from also the uh, benzene that they're releasing and, you know, in these hospitals and they start to get sicknesses. I will. I'm going to end it. Okay. Like I say, just call in or put stuff in your nose. Yes, they do. They put stuff in your nose. They cause you to go. Look, this is what I'm telling you. What I want you guys to understand is that when you go into these hospitals, man, just like when you walk into the store, they release chlorine gas, right? Which is why they want you to um, wear the masks because when you wear... When, when you sniff this in, you're going to smell it. Your nose is going to start burning. You're going to get like a bleachy smell on your nose and things like that, okay? And then you're going to start to wonder like, why am I smelling this, okay? This is why they have you wear that mask, right? So now when you go home, unbeknownst to you, you know, you didn't inhale this. And the chemicals that you inherit, which chlorine gas was used, um, I want to say back in the days of war as a choking agency, okay? And so as I said in my video, 
they're using this gas to wage war against um, its own people. You understand what I'm saying? Right. They don't want you to give the, the regrets. Anything that you put in your body, um, Carlos, they should automatically give you, um, they should automatically let you know the ingredients that's being put in, man. Okay? And so, I'm going to tell you, man, one time I went into the hospital, bro, and, you know, I'm big on that, man. What are you sticking me with? So on and so forth, because I never really trusted the hospital because I've always had, even before I become, came awoke, I, um, I always just felt like any of these diseases that's, that's being, being heard about at this time was always uh, given to, like they give them to us. Understand that? Because as I said, any disease that you ever get is going to have to come from consumption. If it's not, um, if it's not genetically passed down, because some diseases are genetically passed down. We won't take away from that. But when we talk about things like monkeypox, when we talk about things like C C19, you understand what I'm saying? When we talk about things like that, man, this is not what you think it is, okay? You walking into these stores, they're giving it to you, then you go into the hospital, and then they furthermore hit you and say that you died, okay, from it. When in all actuality, they hit you with a needle, okay? After you stiffed in with other chemicals, they hit you with the rest of the chemicals with the needle, and you went to sleep and you never woke up. Okay, this is the truth, and I want you guys to be weary. I keep telling y'all, man, right now the planet is telling us that we need to get back to a holistic healing, which is why I'm pointing you guys in the direction of Yaki Awakening, okay? This is someone who has healed people of diabetes, cancer, so on and so forth, because he studied under Dr. Sabi, Sabi and his wife, okay? So for those of you who don't know who Dr. Sabi is, I mean, who don't know who Yaki Awakening is, you can also find him on YouTube under Yaki Awakening. He's good. He's a holistic healer. He's going to get you on the right diet, get you to eating clean, so on and so forth. Okay. So other than that, man, I want you guys to be aware, man. Do not just walk into these, these hospitals and thinking that they're going to save y'all. Okay. Because unbeknownst to you, it, a lot of these people are a part of brotherhoods, man, sisterhoods, and they're a part of the agenda. Okay. Right now they're doing a population control. This is what you need to understand. They're doing a population control and they're killing people off intentionally. So when you go into these hospitals, man, it's people that will warn you, man. They'll let you know, man, not to go into, into some of these hospitals, man, because it's a chance. The chances are you won't walk out, especially if you are chosen. Okay? So um, with that being said, y'all tell me how that, how that last video uh, resonated with you. Yeah, the swabs, anything, anything that they try to give you, bro. But I would more so say the needles, man, because what they want to do, they want you to sit in the room. Okay, because when they when you sit in the room, they're releasing a chemical through these doors. This is why nine times out of ten, like especially now. Now, if this was maybe a couple years ago, I wouldn't have even been saying this. We wouldn't be having this conversation. Grand ascension, God, Ashe, Gary. But yeah, you know what I'm saying. If it, if it was a couple years ago, we would not be having this conversation. But since it's now, with everything that's going on, the way society is. It's headed right now. I'm telling you guys, man, the hospitals are not safe. Okay? Do not go to these hospitals, bro. Because as I've told you a thousand times before, a lot of these people are agents in the hospital. Yes. Yes, uh, Levante. A lot of these people are agents in these hospitals, man. And they're not helping you. No, they know exactly what they're, they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing. They're injecting you with poison. Okay? And the chances are is you're not going to wake up, especially around the month. When it's a time when you see a full moon out, you really don't want to go. Thank you, Clary. Clary. What is your name, uh, Clary? If I, I apologize if I mispronounced that. Yeah, if it's a full moon out, you really do not want to go because, as I've told you guys before, when you... I'm going to tell you something, man. Um... Uh, what is her name? She died in the jail, man. They killed her in the jail. Uh, I cannot think of her name, man. Uh, if somebody knows her name, tell me what it is. She died in the jail, bro. They killed her while she was in the jail, and it's because she moved from a small town because she was also being targeted. And so when you when you when you live in these small towns and you dealing with people like the police police, which majority of the police officers are nothing but gangs. But I wouldn't say every police officer is a gang. You feel me? I wouldn't say every police officer is a part of a gang, but I would say 
man, when you move to these small towns and things like that, you have to be weary because it's a lot of satanic stuff that's going on in these small towns. And because you are not from a small town, that's just like when you grew up in your community. I grew up in a community where everybody knew each other. We went to school with each other, parents, so on and so forth. When you move to a small town, it's the same way. They know each other. So when you come in, you automatically make yourself a target. So therefore, when you meet somebody at a new workplace, so on and so forth, be careful of the things that you say to them because you're showing them how to attack you. If you're saying, oh, well, I moved out here by myself. No one's out here but me and my children uh, and my husband or me and my boyfriend. Woo -woo. You have to be skeptical of the things that you say because if they know that you're isolated with no one, who cares about you and not going to ask questions, then they will talk. Yes, her name was Sandra Bland. Sandra Bland. You right. Sandra Bland is who I'm talking about. Okay. She moved from a town because she was up and coming. She was doing exactly what I'm doing right now, y'all. Okay. And she became targeted. She wanted to leave her community. But unbeknownst to her, get out the street, son. But unbeknownst to her, the police had already sent out an AP. They knew where she was going because, as I told y'all, she was a targeted individual. They was watching her through the phone, so on and so forth. You understand what I'm saying? They was watching her through these apps that they used. Friends and family was involved because just like I was telling y'all, then Shavi Zane came along and furthermore said the same thing that I'm telling you now. You understand what I'm saying? They was watching her. They was targeting her. They was following her. And it was people that was being paid and were being promised things to, you know, to be a part of it. Drop them nines, man. Y'all drop them nines, man. You say, don't tell too much, y'all. Why you say that, CJ? So, right, exactly, uh, Emerald, we are outsiders. So when you come in, most of us come from low-poverty low neighborhoods like Chicago, uh, Detroit, you know, either way it go. Wherever you're from, you come from a low-poverty neighborhood, and then you move into the small towns, uh, maybe to another state, and then they look at you as if you're going to mess their community up. So they don't want you there to begin with. You understand what I'm saying? They don't want you there to begin with. And so when you come in, they looking like, who is he? Or who is she? This is my come up. I'm seeing it happen, man. And a lot of people, man, they have, they, they're well connected. Okay? They're well connected. Say, Nita, you say your doctor tried to schedule you for a mammogram and colonoscopy when I went in. Right on. Right, okay. Yeah. You got to, because another thing I'm going to tell you, man, when you're dealing with, um, that's a good point. When you're dealing with these hospitals, right, let me tell you guys this. This is how I feel like they target you in terms of organ harvesting, okay? What they do is they come in, they take, they take your blood. You understand what I'm saying? They do x-rays. So on and so forth. And then they start to say, okay, well, this person is healthy. You see what I'm saying? This person has, they're strong, they're built strong, so on and so forth. So, you know, we're going to see if we could target them. With me, I really believe a couple years ago, I had, I ended up having an x-ray. I ended up having a surgery, okay? Um, on, I had a, a hernia. So I ended up having a surgery on that hernia, and they had to come, um, go in and check me out. And my, my wife said that, you know, the alarm built off as if somebody was dying. And so she was worried about me. I was in surgery for hours, y'all. I mean, I went in about three o'clock and didn't leave until about seven o'clock. So I was in surgery for hours. And I really believe during that time, they were debating whether they wanted to make it seem as if I had died in surgery or not. Because when I came back, they told, my wife told me that they had told her like, oh, he had, he's a real muscle guy. You understand what I'm saying? She was saying these things, right? And so it didn't resonate with me at that time, until I started to feel like I was being targeted, I feel like at that time, me being also a carbonated uh, being, a non ether being, you understand what I'm saying? You know, we, we made up, y'all. We the all seeing, all knowing, all, all, you feel me? We supreme mathematics, understand that. We are the universe. We are, we, we, we just, I'm telling y'all, we, we, everything that they need to know, they don't need to go into the sky to figure out what's going on because it's already embedded in us. And so, with that being said, uh, I really believe during that time, they basically looked and seen that, you know, I had something that somebody else could need. And so they just wanted to figure out how they can do it. So they just basically found out who I was and they wanted to see if I was around here from around here. And they wanted to see who would support me, if anybody would make noise behind it or whatever the case may be. So I'm telling you guys the same thing. 
be skeptical. It's not too many things that you really, really have to go to the hospital for. Okay? This is what I want y'all to understand. There's not going to be many things because of the food. If you eat right, then you won't have to be at the hospital because when you eat berries, berries, they have antioxidants in them. You see what I'm saying? Also, you can get B12. If you're eating um, oranges, you get vitamin C. You understand what I'm saying? So if you're eating plants and things like that, then these things are going to naturally heal you. You don't have to go and get medicine. Okay? I'm going to have to check that movie out. Death Wish in the 90s. Yeah, and we are, we are, tar we are targeted, y'all. I want y'all to be careful. You said they lied and something was going to kill me, but I fought back. They said, they, they, what they lied about, uh, Tiana? They said, they lied and said something was going to kill you, but you fought back. Yes. Dominique Brown, what are you going through? You say you're going through this right now. You promise, uh, usually there is no one to talk. Yes. I'm telling you, hey, look, man, I went through a situation where they tried to make me look crazy. Everybody around me was involved in it. Do you understand what I'm saying? And they wanted to make me look crazy because guess what? They knew that I was awoke and they knew that I knew what was going on. OK, and so. To basically um, discredit everything that I have to say, you know. They had, they made everybody, everybody that was in it on it would say, oh, he crazy, they crazy. They were trying to push me into the hospital because, see, what they'll do is they will try to push you into a mental hospital because they want to make a history of you having mental issues, okay? That's crazy. Yes, they will try to push you into a hospital, right? OK, because they want to leave. They want to make a record of you having a mental issue. OK, so if something I tell a lot of y'all do not be. Look, I don't care what happened, man. You get somebody and you be around them, man. It's a blessing if you have kids, so on and so forth. OK, because when you're alone, it, you give you giving them room to create the narrative. Damn, Vontae, they got down on you like that, bro. You got to be careful out here, bro. You know, it wasn't meant for you to go yet. But don't stay to yourself, man. One of the laws of power says that they want to get you isolated because when they get you isolated, they can create the narrative. So most people, if you're being targeted, they're going to try to get you alone. Do not feed into that. You understand what I'm saying? One thing you have to understand is that we, just, we are the chosen ones, bro. We, we well protected. And I want you guys to understand, what is the chosen one? We are the 144,000. We are one of the 144,000. Okay. Ooh, they wanted to get, who is that? Delisha, they wanted to give you an electronic sh shock. Don't you do it. And more, look, let me tell you something. I'm going to tell y'all how crazy it was getting. Okay? It got to the point where I would go to get, because, you know, before I found out that I was being hit with benzene, okay, because what benzene does is, is once it gets in contact with your lung, it, it, it makes it hard for you to breathe, okay? And then when you start to get around other chemicals such as, like, smoke, um, bleach, when you get around chemicals, it takes your breath. So I was assuming like, you know, I had asthma, okay? And so at one point I did smoke. I'm like, man, you know, I've never went through this though. I've never went through this at, at a point. So I started to go to the doctor and get, um, get like air pumps and things like that, man. And man, let me tell you guys, man, be careful of the medicine you take. Look into it and everything because I took some medicine, man, that had me almost have a heart attack that came from the pharmacy, okay? Say, what, what's in the sky on top of the clouds, bro, that we can't see? What is it? What is it, Ben? Tell me. You say you very, Tiana, you say you different. The doctors tried to buy from my mom. What? That's sick. That's it. They tried to buy you from your mom when you was born. But yeah, I want you guys to understand, man, like this is real, man. Anything that I ever put in your face, I personally went through. And I can resonate with it, man. Okay? So what they want you to do, they, they, I'm telling you, man, people, people will, you know, put you in a situation to where you start to feel lonely. You understand what I'm saying? 
okay? And then they gonna start to sit around and try to make it seem like you crazy. They gonna have everybody around you trying to make you look crazy. Because guess what? They've been offered something. You never know who you can trust until, you never know who's loyal to you until they presented with an opportunity. Understand that. You say your mother died when you was 11 years old and your father in a mental hospital, literally. Right. Crazy. Yes, it is. It's true. I'm not going to... Look, let me tell y'all something, man. One thing about me is, man, I'm, I'm here to... I'm an Indigo star to you, bro. Okay? Star C, I'm here to raise the vibrations. Okay? So I'm not here to lead you astray. I'm here to keep you on your tippy toes so that you will know and be able to recognize these... Everything that I'm telling you when you see it. It's going to be up to you to take heed to what I'm saying, okay? And keep your eyes open because, as you can see, if you scrolling up, if you're watching this, you will see that so many other people has already been, they've been through it. Me either. I, I'm, it's to the point where I don't, uh, neither. I do not take pills. I don't take medicine. I don't do any of that. I don't take nothing. If it's not, I find natural remedies to heal, such as herbs and, um, and, and, and pills and things like that, like not, not pills, herbs and, and stuff. I like natural herbs and fruits because I told you, you can find a lot of the things that you need to heal your body in fruits. Okay. All you have to do is eat fruits and vegetables if you want to find the things that you want to, if you want to heal your body. I told you all the vitamins that you need is in that vitamin B, vitamin C, antioxidants, things like that that's going to help you heal. Man, look, I was damaged, y'all. Do you understand? I was overly damaged and I stopped eating everything I ate. I went on an all fruit diet. Okay, an all fruit diet, and it got me back. Yeah, you know what? They'll do that, bro, because they want to really see how healthy your heart is. A lot of times, people die, man. They say it's from a natural cause. Why are you cutting them open? If someone dies from a natural cause, there's no need to cut them open. You already, um, and 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 doing an autopsy. Okay, that's because they want your organs. They want them. Yeah, I don't know what mushrooms. I ate a few mushrooms, man, but not the, you know. Yes, we do. Understand that it's a portal that opens every 10 years, y'all. Okay, the last time this portal opened was in 1993. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm referring to uh, Dominique Brown. She said, we, things, we see things others can't see. They know I see 100% accurate. We have uh, many non-humans amongst us. And yes, we do. So I want to make y'all aware of every 10 years and i don't know if you're familiar with cern what cern is doing right now is they're trying to open this portal back up okay but this portal opens every 10 years it's, it's the veil is real thin the last time this portal was open was in 1993 okay and if you go back i think these these it first opened in 1943 okay this portal first opened in 1943 um, and you had people come from the 16 galaxies these aliens which were they came from the Pleiadians. These Pleiadians came from the uh, 16 galaxy, okay? It's a seven star or a seven sun, a seven sun or seven star system. It's the, it's the 16 galaxy, y'all. These Pleiadians, they came over and they, they had a, um, a conversation with the president at the time uh, and asked him to, to lower his, his arms and stuff like that, okay? And it's because, yes, we do have, we have a lot of people. Most of us are not from this planet. We aren't. So that's what CERN is currently doing. It's I'm, I'm working on the video for that right now. We're going to get to that. Yes, you got to stop drinking, man. I ain't going to lie to you, man. When you drink, uh, you know, it allows demons to actually attach to your vegetables. Demons in, in drinks, man. CERN, yes. CERN, Cornell. You don't know what CERN is? What CERN is doing is they're trying to open up a portal to bring the Anunnaki gods back into this to this era, uh, to this era, one being she, but the God of destruction. Okay. The main one, when you look at uh CERN, you look in front of their building, they got the Anunnaki God Sheba in front of their uh, building. Now Sheba is the God of destruction. Okay. And she was placed in a certain place by, um, uh, by Amun Ra. Okay. A lot of these things that they want to, they want to tell you guys is mythology is really true. Okay. It's really true. When they say Egyptian mythology, Greek mythology, so on and so forth, they only tell you that it's, it's myths so that you won't go on believing in the research and so on and so forth. Okay. Uh, 
I think, what is it? Uh, Chiano. Gambino. I'm going to check that out. I'm going to check that out. But, yeah, I really want you guys to be, you know, I want y'all to be safe, bro. You know, right now, for whatever reason, man, they are trying to kill us off, man. They trying to kill us off, bro. And I want you to be, I want y'all to be safe, man. Drop them nines for me. Drop them nines, man, if you understand where I'm coming from. Be safe, man. We cannot trust the medicine, bro. We cannot trust the hospitals, man. And one reason that they, they really are trying to get rid of you because organ harvesting right now is a big thing. They want your organs, man. They really want your organs because, as I've said before, especially carbonated organs, they're going for over 200. Your heart is going, your heart and liver is going for over $200,000 on the black on the black internet, okay? Or whatever it's called. Black website, whatever it's called. Okay? So, y'all need to make sure that y'all being extra cautious, being safe. If you have a cold or something like that, man, don't automatically assume that it's, it's, it's the, you know, and end up going to the hospital because you will go to the hospital, man, and you won't come out because what they'll do is they'll sit you in the hospital, they'll hook you up to these these uh machines and stuff like that man they'll be pumping poison into you and that poison will be making you even sicker just like they'll be pumping it through the vents it'll cause your organs and things to shut down man i'm telling you man i've seen it i know i know exactly what i'm talking about i will not just say anything to you okay so you go into these hospitals man you only walk in with a cold then you go in thinking that they're going to help you when in all actuality they are killing you okay For real, they're killing you, man. That's facts, man. You go in there, it's a lot of people that you know they're going to the hospitals, man. They aren't really that sick, okay? And I want you guys to understand, if you're getting hit with chlorine gas and it's giving you, chlorine gas can cause pneumonia when you start to um, breathe it in because it starts to fill your lungs with water, okay? And then, I mean, then what you will do is unconsciously, because they tell you to clean your hands, clean up stay clean and things like that you're gonna end up going to um to the store you're gonna get other chlorine gases such as uh bleach okay you will get bleach you clean your house and you furthermore you subjecting yourself right back to the chlorine and it's causing you to have symptoms of a cold runny nose and things like that which is what benzene will do to you as, as well if you take in benzene it's going to start to attack your bone marrow your, your bones are going to start aching Okay, you're gonna have achy bones. You're gonna have um, probably liver pain and things like that, bro. Because it starts to slowly eat. It starts to slowly shut your organs down. Okay, I'm telling y'all, man. It starts to show slowly shut your organs down. And this is one of the main things that they're doing. So when you walk it around and you start to see that you have these aches and stuff like that, the first thing you need to do is stop drinking. Stop smoking, okay, because your life is at hand right now. So let's just say you feel your liver is hurting, okay? Stop drinking, stop smoking, go get some citrus fruit. Because what citrus fruits, certain greens such as kale and stuff like that, is going to start to pull these things up out of you, okay? Then you want to take like milk, th milk thizzle and things like that, herbs and stuff, it's going to start to extract, extract the benzene out of you, right? Because a lot, what you don't, what a lot of people don't understand is that a lot of our water comes from fruits such as melons, um, oranges, okay, grapes and things like that. If you eat those things, it's going to keep you hydrated because you need to stay hydrated, okay? Because certain things you drink is going to have the chemicals in it, such as like fruit juices, especially when it's not a natural juice, okay? So you need to start eating a lot of fruit that's going to keep you hydrated. Also, it's going to have things like antioxidants in, in you that's going to help protect your liver and your kidney and things like that okay you don't have to run to the hospital and get meds and stuff like that start eating greens all green foods like kale salads all these are high in electricity because we are alkaline we are alkaline based human people you understand we need to stay on the alkaline diet which you should be drinking alkaline water spring natural spring water things like that that's going to help you remain um going to help you get back to the to a place where you need to do be which i am I'm a, i got a list of foods that i want to have i want to give to you guys for those of the ones who's looking to eat clean okay i don't use deodorants like um 
Dove and things like that. I use organic deodorants because those deodorants and things also have benzene in them. What about medical cannabis? Uh, to me, I really feel like cannabis of any kind is low vibrational, but it can um, help because they say that cannabis comes from the cannabis star system, which is another planet. So you probably can smoke. I mean, that's up to you. I'm going to leave that at your own discretion. But I do believe drugs are low vibrational. And if you watch my video, I told you that they are attacking the drugs, bro. They're attacking the drugs. So you might want to stay away from the drugs. Okay. A lot of people are doing drugs and they're, 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 they're coming back with, um, they're claiming chest pain. They're having chest pains from doing these drugs and they have, they're, they're suffering from heart attacks. They don't know why, but it's because whoever around them is hitting with benzene. They're taking these, these bad pills that's being deliberately given to them because they are a target. Probably because they went to the hospital, had x-rays done, um, surgeries and things like that, which made them a target. Okay. Yeah, all organic products on your body, Jesse. That's how I am. Coconut oil. I use all organic products. I don't use anything all the way down to the detergent. All the way down to the detergent. I use all organic stuff. Okay? I don't want to put those chemicals in, especially after going through what I've been through. And this isn't the first time. I'm going to give y'all a, a good, good, good detail of what happened to me. I just feel like the time is not right right now to be telling y'all my story. But I am going to tell y'all exactly what's happened to me. And when you... It's going to resonate with a lot of y'all. Why you think that, Delisha? Yes, he lost a lot of weight. That's one of the sisters that went to the hospital. I told him that he was going through a spiritual awakening, but he don't believe me. I told him to stay out of the hospitals. He said he is vaccinated too. Do you think monkeypox would develop due to the vaccine? Um, I think, mo look, you got to be careful with the shots, man. They can't give you monkeypox through the shots, but I really believe that monkeypox is going to be given through the food, okay? And just, just like everything else, because first of all, when you're going to, one thing they can count on is that you got to eat, okay? So they have these restaurants and things like that put whatever is needed inside the food so that they can, you know, you will go to the restaurant, you will eat it, and you will go to the grocery stores and get monkeypox. This is why it's so important for us to eat. Uh, grow I have our own gardens Yeah, it is it's, it's important for I keep telling y'all man in order for you we do not get Diseases such as cancer and things like that from the air. Okay, one way you get cancer is benzene Benzene will give you cancer you will develop leukemia from benzene because somebody will hit you with the benzene And then every day you're gonna subject yourself if you unconscious of it You're gonna subject yourself through the to the benzene because if someone if you live in a neighborhood where they burn smoke a lot and you inhaling the smoke whenever the wood gets burnt it, it uh, creates benzene whenever you cook chicken or you burn grease it creates benzene whenever you uh put deodorant on it's benzene and de deodorant when you go to the store and you want to get some apple juice or something that's concentrated it's benzene in it you understand what i'm saying it's benzene in some type of some, some of the waters okay it's everywhere uh, you know so if you're not eating it and you're not getting it through the skin then you're breathing it in which means that you're in the radius of it but more than likely if you're going to get a disease it's going to come from consumption okay consumption so if yo if yo if yo man whatever is going on you need to tell your husband to stop trusting people okay he needs to stop trusting someone is hitting him someone is targeting him and he may be going through an awakening Yes, mint oil with a uh, coconut oil, but you can look up um, organic organic uh, deodorants as well. See, the problem with us is, is man, that we so we are so used to eating that we eat without tasting our food. Okay, I went on a fast, y'all. I went on a, fa a three week fast where I wouldn't even drink water and eat. I lost a lot of weight from that. Okay, and so if yo if for the lady who said her husband is losing weight, if he did go on the fast, okay, what that did was that helped to clean out his pe his uh penile gland okay and so he probably is starting to see things that he you know what i'm saying because it, cal it decalcified it okay and so once he started eating naturally once i got off of that fast man and i started to eat things i could taste i could taste the the poison in the food okay once you start to taste that you know you're a chosen one once you start to taste that type of stuff okay so that's what they if you want to open up your third eye you need to eat clean for sure, that, that's going to be one of the ways that you do it. And you want to get out in that sun. When I meditate, I like to meditate in front of the sun. 
so that I can receive download. December 13, 2003 is the end of the American dollar digital currency. Yes, of course. This is why, you know, they want to do a one-world currency. They want to take it back to when Rome uh, basically ruled everything, okay? So they want to take it back to basically having a one-world rulership. Yeah. Yes. And I had to spit it out because I could not physically eat it. Yes. That's because when you, I'm telling you, when you go through a, um, when you fast, whenever you fast, you're not putting those chemicals in you. I fasted for maybe a month while I sipped the water, if I did sip anything, and I lost weight tremendously. And it was, to be honest with you, I had symptoms of what her husband is saying that he had. Well, he wasn't trying. It's my phone again, y'all. He's something. So, and these are the chosen ones. I'm telling you, the one, the hunt, the 144,000 that you um, hear spoken of in the Bible, so on and so forth, man, these are the chosen ones, okay? Those are the chosen ones. I don't know. The dollar's not back back gold. The Federal Reserve been, been empty. One day, Harold's chicken tasted funny. Ah, I'm glad you said that, which brings me. You can go into these grocery stores, man. Okay, we went in, me and my me and my kids went into a grocery store, bro, and everything in there, you could smell it. I smell my food, okay? I get to the point where I smell my food. You walk into these grocery stores, bro, everything is going to taste real, real funny, okay? And you're going to be able to taste and smell the poison because the object is to get you to the hospital, okay? This is what I'm trying to tell you. Because when they get you into the hospital, then they're going to, they're going to take it from there. And some of you are going to walk out, some of you not. But some of you, they're going to take you to the edge of death. And then they're going to bring you right back. Okay? I've seen it happen, man. I watch people I watch people think the same people that was playing God and wanted to kill them. Okay? I'm telling y'all, man. Talk to not rely on our sin. Yes, we have. Jessica? This is what I'm telling you. We've been taught. We So a lot of us do not taste our food when we eat it. We just eat it and go with the flow. And then you wake up in the morning and you realize that you've been food poisoned and things like that. So now you go to the hospital, okay? And then they're saying that, oh, you got the C-19. You understand what I'm saying? And now they want to hook you up to all these, these machines and give you shots and things like that. And they furthermore killing you. What are the symptoms of an awakening? Man, I'm going to tell you, the first. this is how I really, really first realized that I was becoming awoken. I looked at the clouds and I, I could really see how digital they was. I remember it like it was yesterday. Oh, as a matter of fact, I was coming from work one day. This was about maybe five years ago. It was December. It was a cold night. And um, as we was coming back from work, I'll never forget that this is night. This is another time. It, it was at nighttime. Whenever you ride past a factory and the smoke is going out, I was looking at the smoke and the, the smoke actually looked like something you would see inside a computer, like it was computer generated. Okay, and at the time, I didn't realize that my third eye was starting to open, but that's exactly what was happening. We living in a, um, a, false, this, we live in a false reality, y'all. And so I started to realize that, but I just started to realize everything, bro. I've been in some scary situations, man, where... The scene was completely set for me. The scene was completely set for me. I'm talking about everybody around me was, was in on it. And I ain't talking about just family. I'm talking about just going into the store and things like that. So I got part three coming from y'all, for y'all, man. I want y'all to please support that, man. Support that video. Share it for other people that want to know this information and everything else. How did I figure out that? I, you could just feel it. I've always been the type of person that paid attention to my surroundings. So it wasn't hard for me to realize that I was being followed, okay? They were circling me like sharks. You got to pay attention, man. You have to pay attention, but also go with your intuition. Your intuition, is, see, I, I tend to tell a lot of people that your intuition is your soul, soul warning you of what has already been through. So you need to pay attention to your intuition at all times.
Right. So, you know what? You got to be, man, look, start smelling your food. I really, one thing I want to point out to you guys is when you look at that food, okay, especially fruit, make sure you're observing it. If you see green dots and things like that in it, like specks, you want to not, don't take that because it's not the fruit. Uh, it's, it's not the fruit. It's not showing that the fruit is ripe. Okay, they could have possibly poked it and injected something in there, okay? Because I have smelled fruit that was loud and it smelled like it was, it was a lot of poison in it. You understand what I'm saying? So, okay, y'all can expect that other video tomorrow, man. And I wanna, I wanna let you guys know I, I love and appreciate y'all, man, especially the chosen ones. You know I love y'all, man. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end this live right now, man. And so, as always, man, please be aware, man, because to be aware is to be alive. And peace, family, peace, many positive energy always creates elevation.